Hey, this is Greg Shields, and you've found another of my courses here in the Pluralsight catalog, this time on the architecture and implementation of Microsoft's FSLogix Profile Container Solution. I am author evangelist and a full-time author here at Pluralsight, and I've been working with a landscape of remote application technologies since the days before even Microsoft owned its own terminal services. If you consider yourself a desktop administrator, then you know that a large part of the job is dealing with user profiles. Managing the documents, the configurations, and the pictures of people's cats that all make up that experience that makes up the user's experience is no small task. Over the years and the decades, several generations of solutions to address this enormous task have come and go. One of the more recent approaches involves the containerization of user profiles into virtual hard disks, VHD and VHDX files that can be trivially attached to a desktop. Add in a little file system magic by way of a carefully constructed file system filter driver, and suddenly all that content becomes a single hard disk attachment. This approach, leveraged by FSLogix, a recent acquisition by Microsoft, is one of the industry's leading new ways to simplify how user profiles get attached to non-persistent machines. In this course, we'll begin by looking at FSLogix from within the lens of historical profile management approaches. Next, we'll explore the architecture and installation of FSLogix for profile and Office 365 containers. Then, we'll dig deeply into some of the special considerations you should understand for success in a production implementation. Finally, we'll migrate user content into FSLogix containers and take a peek at FSLogix's tools for application masking and Java redirection. If you've just been tasked with implementing FSLogix in a non-persistent desktop environment, this course is your first stop in brushing up on those skills for success. And then from here, you'll be ready to continue on the learning path as you explore additional topics in Windows Desktop and VDI administration. Let's get started.